So, if you're watching me over on YouTube, you are missing out on the live broadcast on Facebook. Um, check the links in the description and you will find your way to my Facebook pages. Um, so, today, another eye update. Um, I went in, so for people who've been following for a while, you know it's been like, it's been a major fiasco. This has been going on for almost seven years. <clears throat> and I had um, corneal replacement surgery last year. And today we finally got glasses. So um, obviously I don't have them, but um, <clears throat> real glasses, not just readers that I, like everybody sees me in the blue glasses and they think that those are my glasses. They're not, they're for show mostly. <laughs> they're, um, I, I don't think they even really have a prescription in them. Um, but I got an official prescription set of glasses today and I'm picking them up in two weeks and I can actually see with them. <laughs> so, um, without some kind of a lens in my eye, I, um, I think I have somewhere around 40, 40, 60 vision now. It was 2200. So um, that's where that's how far we've we've improved. With with glasses, they can correct it to almost perfect, but not quite. Um, so I'm really excited to go and pick those up in a couple of weeks. But other than that, everything's been kind of been kind of laid back this last week, you know? Um, I did my final broadcast um, with you now this last week, um, and I'm hoping that we're looking at an exciting future some with some other app like you now that um, might be willing to pay me. <laughs> for my, for the, for my efforts, you know? Um, so Facebook has reached out. This is the third time they have reached out. Um, I am still in the process of considering. I'm just, I'm really not, um, excited about some of the background projects that they work on. You know, I'm not real excited about those. Um, but it's the kind of work that I want to do, and it is very much human trafficking um, focused. So, I don't know. I need to think about it a little bit longer because that's just, <laughs> it's a really big leap. And with my, with some of my, some of my issues, it just makes it so, um, I can't always show up for everybody, you know? I can't always come in and be smiley face, you know, there's days, and I have a lot of them, where, you know, the tears are flowing and, you know, um, it's not easy, you know, it's not easy to come in to broadcast and be present for other people when I'm not even being present for myself. And um, a job like that requires a lot of that, <laughs> you know, um, you sort of have to be present for others, and I'm not sure that I'm able to do that anymore, you know, um, I'm great with, with ideas, and I'm great with, like, doing, like, the quick pop-ups, um, but I'm a founder, that's really, you know, kind of what, I, even though I do a lot of community work, I'm really kind of a founder, you know? and sort of a background person more than a foreground person anymore. Um, there was a time when I was like that, you know, that front person, then I could be at the front of the, you know, like I could be at the front of the army and everything and be totally stoked to be there. Now I'm just like, I have all of these ideas and I have all of these visions for, you know, things that I want to happen. Um, but I'm not so much for the day-to-day -day stuff, you know? Um, so I'm not sure community management is up my alley any longer, you know? 
It was at one point. But I think I'm hitting a transitional phase of just time to take a step forward, you know, into that CEO position, that founder position. Um, and sort of give up my little blanket. <laughs> you know, um, I'm not so sure I'm ready to do that though. Uh, I don't know. We'll see. So, but that's my two cents for today. I'll probably be back later with a real two cents, you know, but um, yeah, I just wanted to give everybody an eye update and um, fill you in on what happened with, um, I should probably take the camera into the doctor's office next time, but they're, you know, with all the COVID requirements and everything, they're a little bit not so hippy yippy skippy to let you video camera their, um, <laughs> your, uh, your appointments anymore. They, uh, you know, a few years ago they had no problem, but now it's kind of like they, you know, they're under such strict, strict guidelines and the HIPAA guidelines have been increased and everything. Um, I'll see what I can do, but <laughs> it probably won't be live, but, um, at least a little recording or something, um, because the Delta I medical group in Stockton has really like the entire team has been very supportive through this whole process, including me being a little bit crazy and calling them after, you know, after the surgery and everything. So, um, but yeah, that's my two cents. I'll probably be back, be back a little bit later and chat. <laughs>